Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to let you know how to send a customer connection email. Once you sign into Consultants Corner, uh, you're going to be on the home page and you're going to click Contacts. And then when you get to your contact page, and it's going to take mine a while to load because I have a lot. So just be patient here and we'll, uh, I'll, the, what I want you to see will pop up here in just a sec. Okay, so uh, when we send a customer connection email, I have some groups set up. One of them is if you've got the PWS tools, you're going to, uh, the eBiz tools, you're going to have a send e-newsletter e group from people that want to receive your newsletter and emails from home office. Um, you can go to all contacts, like for something special, like our seven, uh, days of deals, you might want to send this to all your contacts because they don't normally get an email from you. I feel like it's an okay thing to do once in a great while. Um, it's just so that, you know, some of your customers don't miss uh, the exciting things going on. So, um, but then you, you might have a past consultant, a potential host, a potential recruit, whatever groups you set up or whatever are set there for you by default by home office. Okay. So that's your groups. In order to send the customer connection email, uh, you'll go to this bar here and click on send your customer connection email. And I'm only going to choose um, one you can select all of your contacts by clicking this box, but for just uh, example sake, I'm going to choose uh, somebody that um, I just need to get there. So you have to choose at least one to create your customer connection email. And then I'm going to tap on that customer connection email. Maybe there it goes. And then I tapped on somebody that doesn't have a, an email address, but that's okay. It got me here for uh, demonstration purposes. So um, I'm going to click then. You've got all of these options, okay? You can send about the January host special, about November, new consultant, December host special. You can send all of these. They've got pre-done templates for you that you can uh, tweak and we're going to just keep going along here. You can even have one open house for you or yourself. Save on the outlet. You could do that. Um, I chose not to do that one uh, for the seven days deal. I'm just going to do the plain one. Okay. Because you're not going to be able. Yeah. It just is going to be easier. But if you decide that you want to play with that and try the outlet one, that is absolutely fine. So I've selected this and I typed in this message earlier. And so if you want to keep this email, because this is like your blank one, you can make this whatever you want. OK, and then um, I clicked after I typed my message here, like I can put something in the subject line. I can type uh, however long a message I want. But there is a character limit. And down here, you'll notice that I've got two characters left. I had to do some tweaking to get it down to there. I was over the limit. So then I had to reword some things. And, you know, that's always a good editing process anyway, because it really makes you think uh, about what you um, are including and how precisely you're saying it so that it's not confusing. So, um, and when I went back, it was like, oh, yeah, I can make that a whole lot clearer. So if I want to save changes, I'm going to click on this save changes part and then it will tell me my changes have been saved. OK, I can preview my email and what it's going to look like here. And we just have to wait. And eventually it populates. And you'll see what your customers are going to see. And for whatever reason, I don't know if it's my internet or what, but this takes a while. If if it doesn't populate, I'm not going to um, wait too long because I, I always um, send the email to myself. Um, and you can do that too if you want. Just check one customer that you know doesn't have an email address and check 
send the email to yourself as the consultant. Um, I don't know if it'll let me move this. Yeah, you can CC consultant here. There's a box behind here. Check that and then you can see what it looks like too because this is just taken forever. So we're going to close this. Um, but this truly might be my internet that's the deal. We've been having a little issue with that. So, um, but click this and you will get a copy. So if you pick somebody with no email like I did, I can send, click send down here and then I could preview the copy that way too. So, um, and then you want to put your consultant contact information in here if it does not appear so that they know how to get a hold of you. And um, this is a great way to just communicate those special things throughout the year that Pampered Chef offers. So, um, and like I said, you can go back up here and you can choose any one of these themes that you want to uh, tweak and use as your own. Pampered Chef does a lot to make our job easy. So I hope this helps you as you get ready for uh, different events that come up throughout the year. And um, this is a great way to just treat your customers in a special fashion. If you've got something special going on yourself, uh, maybe a special open house, a customer or, or host appreciation uh, um, event at your home, you can do these things as well. So um, thanks for tuning in. And hopefully this is a helpful tool that you can now use. And then once you click on send that email, you are done, okay? And uh, it will tell you when it's sent. And uh, I don't know why it's not doing that. Maybe it's because I'm in this uh, screen sharing mode here with you. So, um, but I had no trouble sending them out earlier today. So good luck. I hope you use this new tool to market your business so that you can work smarter and not so hard. Thanks so much. Take care.